Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm out here at Filet Hill doing a grip review today. Um, today I have the Deity Knuckle Duster. Now this is not the first grip I've reviewed by Deity, so I sort of know what to expect. Um, the last grip I reviewed was Salakcha, but we'll see how the Knuckle Duster goes. Um, a bit about the grip. This grip's designed for any sort of riding style, but uh, especially like trail, enduro, and downhill. But uh, they say you can use it with anything. Uh, like most DD grips, the rubber on this one is going to be softer. And that means that you get spectacular grip at the expense of uh, these dying a little bit shorter than you might expect. So I've reviewed the lock job before, but like I said, this is a different grip. The knuckle duster. So yeah, I'm just going to rip it a bit. Let you know how these feel. Uh, like most grip review videos, this isn't a true kind of review, right? Because uh, it's my first time riding them, but uh, not many people do the long-term reviews. I have a blog if you want to check out some more long-term reviews. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you put it in 4K. Get all those pixels. As usual, there are sort of four criteria to rate a grip with. Um, number one is, you know, grip. Number two is cushion. So are my arms getting pumped? Am I having to work extra hard? Number three is durability. And then number four is kind of comfort, X factor. It's gonna be unique to the person. Uh, oh, that's not the trail. Oh boy. Where'd I get offline there? Huh. Ew. Let's take the rock garden. And let's take the additional rock garden into the drop. <laughs> oh man, oh, that uh, certainly room for improvement on that. <laughs> you. Oh boy. So, I've ridden a few more grips since the first time at Flayed Hill, and I have a few more comparison points. These are by far the softest rubber out of any grip in the review. That means that the rubber moves with your hand as you twist, bend, and impact on the grips. Some might like this because it gives you more grip. Some might dislike this because it feels less direct. i found that riders who ride bare hand will prefer a softer grip like this one. Riders with gloves might still prefer a softer grip like this one, Others might want something more direct. The pattern of the rubber makes the grip feel even more bendy under your hand. These grips have a ribbed pattern, which is supposed to dampen vibration. Other grips from Deity, like the Lockjaw, use a diamond pattern instead, but they still feature the same asymmetrical half waffle pattern for your fingers to grip on. Boy, it all never disappoints. Overall, these grips provide a lot of, well, grip. They also have less vibration and arm pump than other grips I've reviewed. The one downside of these grips are durability. The soft rubber will wear quickly and they don't have a plastic replaceable end cap. I've reviewed the Deity Lockjaws before and I love them, but they were the fastest grip wear I have ever seen. That makes them kind of like the Formula One of grips. Lots of grip, but they're not going to last long. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend the knuckle duster, but I will provide some of my personal opinion here. Um, personally, I would choose the Deity Lockjaw grips over the knuckle duster grips if I wanted to go with the Deity grip. They're basically the same grip, but the Lockjaw grips use a diamond pattern instead of a ribbed pattern. 
I find that the diamond pattern kind of locks me in place more. There's less movement under my hand while still providing a crap ton of grip. Like I said, though, grips are highly personal, and I think I just preferred the diamond pattern over the ribbed pattern for the asymmetrical lockjaw design of the grip. Anyways, that's a wrap on the first ride. If you enjoyed the video or got some value out of it, I would appreciate you doing two things for me, both of which cost you nothing. First, if you want to buy these grips, use my affiliate link in the description. Second, like and subscribe. Peace.